happy campers it's me amanda here with cookville rv marine and today we're taking a look at this 2023 grand design momentum 381 ms before we get started thank you for watching subscribe to our channel please like this video and leave us a comment below what your favorite part of this camper is but let's get started if you are on the market for a toy hauler, especially a Momentum that has amazing interior design as well as exterior amenities, then this is a really great floor plan because you get two entryways, one into that toy hauler compartment and one straight into your living space. We have two bathrooms so you can get your guests go in either door to get to a restroom. And check this out, they've even added a TV area for those game days with speakers right beside them. And if it seems to be a little bit sunny, don't worry, you've got two awnings with LED light strips underneath. And not to forget about that party patio that is amazing on its own, but let's check out the storage. Our pass-through storage is near the front cap, of course, pretty standard. We have our battery disconnect here, as well as an intervac system with all of our accessories in this handy blue bag that zips up so nicely. This is a great place for all of your cords, tools, and whatever else you need as well as it's fully laminate flooring down here so we can wipe it off, keep it clean. And there's even LED lights to make sure you can see what you're doing no matter what time you get to the campground. On that side is what you're gonna be using, which is convenience bay, and that auto leveling system is all in one. Everything you need is pretty much on that side is besides this battery disconnect. And the storage is pretty good, but don't forget we have that whole toy hauler section for extra things to store, but Let's go inside. Right on the inside of our first and primary entryway, we have our steps to the right and our, in, our living space to the left. Also to the right is our touchpad control where it controls all of our slides, all of our lights, and you can even check your tank levels and everything like that. We have three steps that lead up into the bathroom and master area. These are rounded steps, so you won't be hitting your ankles or anything when you're coming in on some side corners but we also have lights so that you don't trip as well and vacuum attachments as well as a sweep in vacuum attachment that is super duper handy but let's take a look at this kitchen starting up top in your kitchen you can see we've got lots of added accessories lights accent lights so it definitely gives it a cool vibe if you're wanting to host people it's definitely going to be a fun getaway we even have a vent fan in this room just to pull some of that hot air out. Or if you happen to be cooking, it just makes it a little bit easier. But starting over here, let's check out all of this storage that we can use for extra plates, supplies. I can only imagine the birthday parties that can happen at the campground or even the anniversary parties. Check out this large bar section. Uh, it's got a really nice backsplash to it and underlit lighting. We can make this into a wet bar. We can make this into a place where you serve appetizers, but it looks very grand. And there's even more storage below with some nice big drawers. Now the island is the focal point of this room. It's right front and center when you walk in. They opted to give you some of the more heavy duty tiles to cover up this sink area. So if you wanted to use this as more of a serving area, you definitely could. It's a 50-50 split sink that is massive. So don't worry about doing those dishes and pots and pans. I like the black faucet and the storage in this island is amazing. We've got three drawers and even an under sink area where you can put your trash can and even a secret drawer down there. And there's a outlet and a USB charging port so you can charge, sit at this bar area or even use it to charge some of your guest appliances while they're hanging out. Moving on to our fridge option, we've got a double door fridge that is massive and freezer to match. You can pretty much cook for just a, a large amount of people if you want to bring your whole family. And check out this Insignia residential size stove top. We've got four burners here and a pretty large oven that we can cook in. So we're going to make some delicious meals. We even have an Insignia microwave up top. And there's a little bit of countertop space here, but I imagine most of your prep work is gonna be done right on this island. And not too far away is our pantry items. We have plenty of storage here all the way down, and of course, more storage up here. It's a little bit out of reach, but still usable. Before I talk about the amazing couch and living space, I forgot to talk about this cute little drawer. 
definitely unique and we can put basically anything you want. We've got olive oil, different sauces we want to use. This is definitely made for the cook in your life. But check out this sofa. One, two, three, four different seating options and you just sink right into it. It's super comfy. It's not as firm as some of the other ones, but it just is a little bit more bouncy. We have our charging ports, massage, heat, and anything else you can imagine on the two cup holders of this. And, no. And check out behind me, all of these windows have blackout curtains, but when they're open, you can open them up, get some airflow in this place, and enjoy what's going on on the outdoor entertainment space just as easily inside. But check out this TV space. Imagine the game playing on this massive TV and the fireplace matching your team's colors because we can change the colors just with the click of the remote. We even have extra storage for some maybe DVDs or whatever and we have our indoor outdoor speaker controls that does have Bluetooth as well. And up here, extra storage for board games that I love or whatever else you need to put up there. And as you can tell, there's all, already something up here to my right, or to my left. Check out this bunk. This would be a super cool place for any of your children that want to get away, and they're away from you, and they have their own lights, and it's a cool space. I can only imagine what it's like up there. Now on to our toy hauler section. This is about, what do we say, 15 feet of storage. So if you're looking to carry a golf cart with you, maybe some fun outdoor toys, this is a really great floor plan. There are more specs online on Grand Design's website, so check that out if you have any specific questions about width, height, like that. But check out this bed system. I love the momentum bed system. You get these really good quality Happy Jack chairs that roll over into a whole big bed, and then another queen bed on top, and or you can put it all the way up to the ceiling, bring these down, and put up a nice table in the middle here and have your party patio out and relax and eat with the joys of outside and inside at the same time. And you do get a really heavy duty door that separates this from your living space so you don't have to worry about your airflow going in and out. It's definitely worth it to have a toy hauler. I've seen so many people do cool things with this space. So let me know in the comments if you do anything interesting with your toy hauler space. But other than the entryway door and all of these windows back here, there's a few more things I want to talk about. Check this out. In this room, they have pre-wired it for a camera. Now, you may not always need a camera back here, but say you're hauling something that's pretty valuable to you or sentimental, you can definitely keep an eye on it or even your open rear door, just make sure no one's coming in. We have all of our controls as well as lights for the outside of that ramp door and lights for in here. We we also have our airflow option here with these small things that pop open and I can already feel the airflow coming in so you don't have to worry about any exhaust fumes if you got some extra uh, fuel in this area. But we have a TV up here if you wanted to play the game also in this space and it does look like it may go out a little bit more if you wanted to sort of put it towards the bunks. If you've got a table you want to put it down that'll work too and behind this door another bathroom. This cute little bathroom is a perfect spot for your guests to not have to go into your living space, use the bathroom really quick, wash their hands in this really nice sink, and or just maybe take a break. It has a vent fan in here, a light, and even a small window, and extra storage, so it has everything you need. Now for the main bathroom that's really close, if not connected to the regular private bedroom. We have a side-mounted toilet here, a side-mounted sink that is extremely large, and two mirrors that have lots of storage behind them. That actually surprised me. I didn't really know that was that big. This one, pretty standard medicine cabinet behind, but check this out, open shelving, and even more space for a small trash can for your bathroom. The shower is a single fiberglass piece. It has a little bit of texture on the walls. It looks super easy to clean. And it is sort of a step in or a step down, like a tub-like thing. So if you're looking to clean some things off, this would be a great area. If you've got a dog that's coming with you, this is a great bath area, if not outside. I love the little bamboo seat that they put in. And it does 
stow up if you don't need that down and check out this shower system it's definitely luxury rain head and even has a removable shower head attached to it and they added in these cute cubbies for extra storage how cute now to the bedroom the bedroom, number one, is massive. We've got lots of floor space here for multiple people to be getting ready. And the closet is big enough for everyone. We have two matching areas on each side. And then this middle section is where you would have your washer and dryer if you opted for an upgrade here at Cookville RV and Marine. Or you can keep these shelves in and use it for maybe some of your gear for your trips. But the mirror does move revealing your two sides that match so his and hers if you will check this out a hanging area that has extra storage maybe for shoes two drawers below and this open storage that has the accent lighting that matches the rest of the camper and that's not even it for the closet they opted to give you a dresser as well with a secret compartment down below and six drawers last but not least the bed in the private bedroom. This is a queen size, but you can also opt for a king. We do have two small side tables on one on each side. Windows behind me and to the side that we can open up, get some airflow in this area. Two lights that we can turn on and off without leaving the bed. Chargers are not far away. And check out this cute little glitter pillow they give us with the camper and two regular pillows. So. You don't even have to worry about decorating, but what do you think of this awesome momentum? Do you have any questions? You can always give us a call or visit us online at cookvillerv.com where your adventure awaits.